Well, I think there's a difference between uh, people who uh, want to work in the front of the house and the people who want to work in the back of the house. You know, the people who work in the front of the house, they can be from any walk of life. Everybody knows you make more money in the front of the house than the back of the house. So people kind of take it as a temporary job so they can make money while they're studying or getting ready to do what they're really going to do. Whereas the people who, who... Back of the house, you're probably running from the law. <laughs> you got I was going to be a little team. more flattering yeah. than that. It's a but. work release program. <laughs> but I think a lot of the young people are into cooking because they see it on TV now. It's glamorous. You know, there's all those, those crazy Food Network chefs and all these things. You know, I mean, I've got a nephew who works here with Mark as an apprentice right now and everything as an intern. And uh, he's wowed by all this stuff that he sees. And he wants to be a chef because it looks so... Glamorous, and all of us who've been chefs, or you know, I used to be a chef. You guys are chefs. Uh, it's not, a, it's not as glamorous, you know, as it looks. And I think sometimes these 19-year-olds get a weird idea based on what they see on television. Yeah, but it's just with anything, you know, rocks. I mean, there's a, thousands of musicians right. too, but and there's they, only they, a few yeah. that make it. They don't see the the work that goes yeah. into it. They don't see the how long it takes. Yeah. You know, we were talking earlier about my daughter. Uh, just started cooking for us about a year ago and she started talking about going to school and um, because this is what she sees right now mm -hmm. uh, she didn't see the last 25 years right. of working every holiday working seven days a week worrying about a banquet or a catering somebody didn't show up so you work in the line god forbid the dishwasher doesn't show up yeah. <laughs> nobody wants to do that you know <laughs> You leave something yeah. off the catering truck. Yeah. yeah. So we we talk about we talk about that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just so much stuff behind. Yeah. And expectations getting to this point. too. And yeah. A lot of people don't get to this point. Mm -mm. You know, it is just a job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but um, you know, the the TV show uh, chefs, you know, I mean, I, anything that brings uh, attention to what we do, I think is great. Great. Right. Twenty years ago, you know, we were on. I think the same level as a housewife. Yeah. Well, uh, Julia Child was. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think it's great. Yeah. Well, I think there's a big difference between Julia Child, who you know <laughs> I just kind of worshipped at yeah. the feet of, and uh, there's still people like Jacques Pepin. You have a Liv poster. Of Lydia. Her. Yeah. I've seen the poster of Julia in your yeah. house. Yes. Yeah. So, I know. Uh, no, I don't have. And I, and I, I dressed up for her. I was trying to remember yeah. where my poster was. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did no. meet her, and you know, and she came to eat in my restaurant. That was a big honor and a big icon. Icon. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, you know, but. A lot of the Food Network shows to me, I mean, I, I appreciate your, your point that it, it makes restaurant glamour, so it makes dining glamour, so it's good for us in the, in the restaurant business and stuff. But I think there's just so much. Uh, I, I like the, the old fashioned people like Lydia Bastianich and, and Jacques Pepin, and the ones who are actually teaching you how to cook, mm -hmm. you know, and they're more on the PBS channels than on the Food Network, which is really just about who is the weakest link and who's going to get thrown out of the kitchen right. today and who's going to botch it, and it's all about competition and being nervous where in the restaurant business people are trying to work together, together and you know we all had our own businesses and we're competitors in a in a classic way i mean you know mm -hmm. but we were always cooperative and cared about each other and i was happy to see gary's restaurant right across the street from mine busy you know mm -hmm. and he's busy you're busy right you know? exactly. right, so right i think that's that's you know you just touch upon you know what what's exciting about what we do and that camaraderie, I yeah. think, mm -hmm. is, a, yeah. is just amazing. Yeah, yeah Sonoma Camar County, it's, it's really terrific. Yeah. Camaraderie yeah. or commiseration, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, it's, well, it's all the same. Well, and, but, but you know, you, you, you know, the Julia Childs and, and the Marios and those professionals and mm -hmm. uh, the Iron Chef competitions, all that stuff, uh, you know, you're a professional, so you, you get what's going on. Mm -hmm. You, you uh, can see clearly through, you know, the... The Liddy is in the RRs, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but somebody once told me, you know, there's a lot of people out there that, um, well, let's put it this way. Somebody once told me that 90% of the wine in this country is consumed by 10% of the public. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's East Coast, West Coast. It's just a small market drinking wine. Everybody in the middle, it's still, you know, Budweiser and gun racks. <laughs> so, right. you know, if you... You have to use a different technique to hook them into the whole food scene, mm -hmm. and I think you know, you know, the Julia Childs were at this level, right? And, and then you know, there's this level here too, but it all kind of does the same thing. I think where the harm comes in is uh, the selling it to uh, the youth well, that yeah. wants to cook. That's yeah, mm -hmm. and I think it's the educational system that uh, latches onto that 
and says, hey, come on over to blah, 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 and you, in a short 12 months, be Bobby will be a, you, can, <laughs> you can be a chef, you can be a restaurant owner, mm -hmm. you can be... Uh, own six restaurants. Own six, yeah, just... Like just a catering manager, months, yeah. Right, exactly, right. and mm -hmm. I think that's, you know, that's, that's the harm right. right there. That's a disservice. Right. But all those Food Network shows, I mean, they're all kind of like... It's all based on short attention span. You know, every 15 seconds they're off doing something new, and then yeah. they don't right. really show you how they cook this or how they marinated mm -hmm. that or what's mm -hmm. that. And the same thing, they don't show you how hard it is or, or the work you have to do. It's all just wow, wow, wow. But that's what 22 year olds are looking to watch for on television, I think. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I just can't even watch the shows. They make me sweat. <laughs> I just go, don't they, don't I get to relax. You, don't they make you nervous? I, oh, yeah, my, I have right. my heart rate raises, right. and I just right. go, I can't, I can't sit on the couch while this is going on. i got to right. jump up and down, and well, oh, what are they doing this that for? Why are they doing they, That's ridiculous. This that's what comes like, out of my mouth most right. of the time. It's like being at work. Yeah. It's almost like being at work. <laughs> I, said, I can't watch it. I just left that. that. Yeah. I left that chaos. <laughs> right. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay's yeah. kitchen is it's on fire, and he's yeah. yelling at somebody, I mean, and he wants to stab another that, guy. Yeah, that was <laughs> interesting that. when they did the show out at the Sonoma Country Day School. They did a big show out there, and afterwards, they had to hit the road, and they asked me if I could, you know, wanted any of the food. And I went in after the shoot, and I looked around, and I was amazed at how much food was left over. Mm -hmm. And just vats of eggs and vats of cream and tons of vegetables and oysters and mussels and sausages and I was just going wow what am I going to do with this so I, I felt guilty you know here I am a restaurateur and the, the, the one thing you want to do is watch your food cost right. <laughs> you walk into it after a photo shoot and it's all this food so I loaded it all Giant in my truck food frittata you know <laughs> 8,000 eggs mussels oysters right. no I just I, I drove to everybody I could think of and I said I got food in the back and grab it you know I, and then I took the rest of it to the you know the mission or whatever, but it was just like amazing to me.